in terms of when your milk comes in, um, it's a little hard to tell when you're just breastfeeding from the breast. I was very surprised when I had Beckett, my third baby, and, I, and I, he was in the NICU, and I couldn't breastfeed him. I had to pump, and I was shocked at how little came out the first couple of days. They were droplets. I went to the NICU with the first like visible sign I had of anything after a day or two, and I gave the bottle to the nurse, and she went like this. She's like, is there anything in this bottle? And I was despondent. I thought I would have no milk for the baby because the baby couldn't latch onto the breast. And they were literally droplets. The same thing happened with Bracey. We were going like this with the pump parts, trying to make sure we couldn't get another drop or two. The amount of colostrum in the bottle was barely visible. It picked up a little bit starting, I would say, day two and day three. And it made me realize that in the normal course of things with many babies, there's very, very little milk coming in in those first few days. It's droplets of colostrum, very, very small amount, way below an ounce, I would say. So anyway, do not freak out. If you have a baby in the NICU and you're not seeing much go into that bottle, and if you're breastfeeding from the breast, a lot of this is comfort feeding for the baby in my view, and they're getting little it's and bits and pieces of that colostrum, but it truly is liquid gold. Every drop of that colostrum is very valuable for your baby, and you, it's like wonderful to do it. So anyway, in terms of the milk coming in, it was day three or four for me, for Beckett. With Bracey, it really kicked in starting on around, I would say, day five, which is two days ago. Today I'm on day seven. And today, this morning, I would say I had like two and a half ounces of breast milk that I pumped. I pumped for a long time, which I'll tell you about later. I would say yesterday afternoon, same thing. I had about two and a half ounces. So I don't know exactly what I'm producing over the course of the day, but it's, you know, finally a recognizable supply of milk. It's definitely less than where I'm feeding him from the breast, but my goal is to get as much as I can and then to get him on the breast as soon as I can. And for you guys who might be nursing a full-term baby, I want you to concentrate on stimulating your breasts, not on quantity. Stimulating your breasts in a way that doesn't hurt, which requires a proper latch, which I'll get to in a minute. That's what your focus should be. The best thing to do is to leave the baby on your breast, sucking on your breasts and telling your breasts to produce the milk. That is the dual function of the latch and the sucking at this point. Number one, you're trying to make milk, but number two, you're trying to tell your breasts to make the milk. You understand the difference? It's not just about getting a quantity of milk. It's about encouraging your body to produce the milk. And that's why if you can, you want to avoid supplementing. If you need to supplement, supplement, but I'll go into when you want to do that. You want to know or feel that your baby's awake and they just don't have enough. And then you could choose to supplement with a little bit of pumped breast milk or a little bit of formula, but you really want to try to nurse the baby first and avoid supplementing if you're trying to breastfeed because that's encouraging your breasts less to produce the milk. Mm -hmm.